Adi Grace Daniel is the chairman of Okari Local Government Area of Taraba State, a teacher with many years of experience and a burning passion for education. The council chairman is committed to realizing the vision of Governor Daros Ishaku for the development of Okari. He speaks with Discover Taraba on developmental efforts in the area. Talk to us a little bit about Okari, your local government. You see, when we talk about Okari, Okari, who is the former and the present headquarter of the Core of Our People, Okari is a very good and the largest local government in the states, and at the same time, one of the largest local government in the nation. Okari is a land, predominantly farmers, People who dwell in Okari local government are mostly the Jukun people. And the Jukun headquarter, Korofa, basically based in Okari. And Okari is also the former then Okari Federation, which comprised about Ibi, Donga, Takun, Osa, Kurumi, and the Southern Zoo entirely. Okari is the then headquarter of the Jukun people. The predominantly people of Ukari local government are farmers. And they speak the language which people understand, which is the Jukun language. They speak it and they go into farming, they farm yam, they farm rice, they farm cassava. But to the glory of God Almighty, Ukari today is blessed with a lot of high institution. In Okari, you can see we have Ferra University Okari. We have the Korofa University in Okari. At the same time, we have Oppo University in Okari. And a lot of other federal institutions. We have the Federal Government College. We have numbers of schools. And you look at the topography of Okari. It's very lovely. You can look at the nature of the land in Okari. Okari is blessed which is a natural gift to the nation. And people who dwell in Okari are people who are law-abiding citizens, people who respect their culture, because culture is the way of the people. And my people in Okari, there's nothing they do but they are called respect to their chief and to whosoever is an elder in the land. They respect that person because when there are issues, when an elderly man will come and say, hey, everybody will pay attention to what the elderly man will say. If an elderly man say yes, it remains yes. If you say no, it remains no. That is why I say the people of Ukari, the Jukun people, after God, the next person they bow and respect is their chief because they believe their chief is supreme. And any decision he said is final. And to the glory of God. Nowadays, we have a lot of sons and daughters of Jukum who are professor, PhD holders, who are masters, and most of them are in tough functionary government of this nation. You can imagine, even we have one of our sons our industrial son, who is the governor of the state. You can see, he is the governor of Taraba State. You see, in the past, in the past, Okari is having a lot of challenges in times of security. But to the glory of God, the arrival of the governor, the architect, that is Dixon Ishaku, he put in his best to make sure that everywhere is peacefully. Because I remember when around that 2015, 14, thereabout, Ukari is in a whole place, crisis here and there. But today, to the glory of God, you can see as we are even standing here, people are moving freely. He is the one that constructed this road, this road from Okari down to Tukundi, this nylon, 29 kilometer, 
is one of his handwork which he did because he tell the people, give me peace, I will give you what? Development. As a result, people gave him peace. You can see now he tied this road. And today in Okari, you can move everywhere, everywhere, every angle in Okari. Okari is peacefully. Now like from Tukundi, from Tukundi to Okari or from Okari down to Tukundi, we have almost above three checking points on the highway. He's doing all these things to give people joy, to give them peace. Behind me here, this is another checking point for Mobile, who they are here. You go ahead, there are two checking points for soldiers because he said security is very paramount. That is why he has done all this. So you see, now Okari is blessed. Since Okari is blessed, there is peace. You cannot see anybody who will come to Okari. You come to Okari, you sleep, you eat, you drink, you do everything you feel like doing because the environment is conducive for everybody. But in the past, it wasn't so. In the past, very hardly you see people applying this route. But today, we are here, you can see people going up and down because there is peace. And we thank God that this man who has strived well to give us peace, we say glory be to God. And that is why some of us, we are still standing on our feet to make sure that come 2023, we will send him to the National Assembly at the Red Chamber to go there and represent us. If we have tried him within our environment here, within the state, he has given us the peace, he has given us the development. We will send him there at the national level so that we will have the dividend of democracy because we have tested him and we have seen it. I know in the past, whenever I call him, I say, Daddy, Your Excellency, there's challenge here. You see how you be so furious. You see how you begin to call the security, make sure he push the security down so that they condole the environment to give peace. If you want to see him picking offense, let's say there's a security challenge somewhere. That is where you know that no, he doesn't tolerate any nonsense. Whatsoever he's doing, he stop it and make sure that he saves the life of people. <music>
killings in this area. Right now, as we speak, no mercy has returned and the people are coming back one after the other to their communities to see how they can rebuild their communities so that life can be restored in this border community. Our first port of call was at the makeshift palace of the traditional ruler of Chunku Kingdom in Okari. He took us on a journey through the history of the crisis in his community. What are you doing? I can't see TV. The Jukun. You can see how that's so. I can see. So I wouldn't. Say as a man, yaki. So Muna, Muna Zaman Lapia da TV, Nanan, the one and Garin, Najukun. To send Abn there for a chum. Say Jazil, Garin, and the water. Put in the Suki Benetan, Sunzo de Aki, Sun Korim, Hm, Coco and Gita Jim. You don't want to do an example, my chunk, as we did the government Taginama. Governor now down on 21st of March. So, my Dao, Nako Karimuta in Amasuzo, Muzuko, Amava Dukamu, Manako Karimu Dao. So, Namka Dao, the ski urin, Sabon and Zuzenche, the Kokarin, she governor of Taraba State. Ya Idian, a police station, and now, one day she Yagina. The primary school at Chen, the mini barrack, na soja in a touchen, the Kuma Mopo, the Mitsaro, na one and Gari, so Maduka soon and not ready. Consider what Chris was saying. Governor Ishaku also renovated and equipped the Ukari General Hospital with modern medical facilities and equipment. The hospital is also equipped with a functional solar-powered system to ensure a 24-hour supply of electricity. The Ukari General Hospital is one of the three general hospitals in the three senatorial districts of Taraba State. I want to start by thanking uh, the administration of His Excellency Governor Darius Dixon Ishaku for actually the complete renovation of this facility. Actually, prior to 2015, mm. the facility was in a very sorry state, but when he came, he ordered for a complete uh, renovation of the facility. Now, this is one of the uh, uh, facilities he installed in this uh, hospital. This is a solar system powering the entire hospital. 
Mm. So yes, since this facility was installed, there is a very uh, strong solar energy to the hospital, powering even the MRI room. And then, since it was installed, uh, there, there has never been any interruption in power supply to the hospital. Sukundi Road. It is a major road that is of great importance to farmers as they can now move harvested farm produce straight to the market in just a few minutes and at a lower cost. This is a great improvement from the past when it took hours to move from one end of the road to another. The road, in, I can tell you since me, I'm almost clocking 50. There's no any government that have made an effort to apply this road to tie it. But I want to tell you that the number of food items that come out of this village, out of this road, is uncountable. On this road, the number of rice they produce from Tukundi, there's a village ahead of us here. They produce a lot of rice, a lot of cassava, a lot of maize from this very particular place. So it's an applause to them. You can see this road now, a road that they used to travel one hour, two hour. But today, only 15 minutes. We take you from Okari down to Skundi and you see people bring food items. You can see that people are passing now from farm, going home. But in the past, it wasn't like that. So this road is timely. They tie this road timely because of the food items that is coming out of this place. Let's take Wukari. Mm -hmm. So Kundi. So Kundi, I was there. Now you used to take, during my campaign, it took me almost four hours to get to So Kundi. <coughs> now, Wukari was the largest, biggest town in the state when the state was created. In the 70s, water used to come from Sukundi to Ukarita. But because the road was terribly, terribly bad, nobody could go there. Nobody could service the pipes from there. So they now turned to get water from Ibi, which is uh, closer. But now, what takes more than three, four hours to get to Sukundi is 24 minutes the last time I went there. Sukundi Axis is where you get largest quantity of yams, largest quantity of gari, largest quantity of grains to the city of Okari. And Okari now is like a center for food. That is where people come every week to load hundreds, thousands of yams home, load a maize grains and whatever you so in our master plan it became an important road we highlighted it with the red mm. that needs to be done to evacuate food from somewhere to where it is needed to be taken to somebody who is in lagos like you mm. Discover Taraba crew also visited one of the Unity schools renovated by Governor Daros Ishaku administration. First of all, on behalf of, of MGGSS Bukari students, I'm here to appreciate the government for providing for us our, some of the social amenities to make our education to be standard. Like, he elevated some classes for us, he provided some food for us. We lack fence and we need social amenities such as electricity, borehole, bed, bunk, and the rest of them. When he came in, he started with the dilapidated uh, 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 house that was abandoned by the windstorms and the crisis in the local government. In fact, he, he was able to renovate about four block class front. Then he was able to give her one borehole water in the school. Then he was able to uh, repair some damages a uh, 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 lab, like uh, biology uh, uh, lab, chemistry lab, and physics lab. 
So we really appreciate his effort. That's part that we still want to request more that we are still lacking some other things behind. If the people now don't mind, we are facing with the challenge of defense in the school. So these are the most important challenges we are facing. We also visited other schools built by Governor Ishaku's administration in Okari. The governor's intervention in the area of education has not only lifted the sector in Taraba State from the bottom, but also brought about a new phase. We train our teachers. We engage these 3,000 rescue teachers and we now deploy them to different sources. And because of that deployment, we are able to bridge the gap. But then, we are facing another challenge. Where are the classrooms? Mm -hmm. Where will the students sit? We went in to renovate several numbers of classrooms. I can't have it over it now. But you saw the same them when you were going around. DDI and some of them you will meet on the road. We improved the standard of schools. We gave them furniture. We got them boots, and now they have sufficient teachers. We were training and retraining the old teachers. And believe you me, they picked up. The secondary schools that was far below 16% or down the line. I will give you the graph, you will see it in our, in our book. They rose to about 30. I told the commissioner that 30 is still a failure. The rose to, is it 47? I told him it's still a failure. The rose to about 60. I said, my past my stacks from 75. So they went to 70. I said, it's still, it's still not past. Until we get to 86. Hmm. Then I said, now you have passed. I'm convinced that now we are number one in the north. I think for four or five years now. And I am sure we are either between one, two, and three in the whole country if we are talking of basic education. So we moved from nothingness to something higher up there. And it's just by way of retraining teachers by way of recruiting in bulk the surplus manpower we have but we deploy those manpower now to the schools because that's where they're needed and that's where i can pay them mm. and with the removal of the ghost workers i had some money to pay and we did that that took our education way up okari local government area is an ancient settlement full of life a once warring community now peaceful and safe.